Hello and welcome everyone to another StarCraft 2 England cast. Today I have got game one of a best of three. It is between TSL's Hyen, who is the red Zerg in the lower left, and Ace's Bly, who is the orange Zerg in the top right. That means this is a ZVZ. It is from the Zotac Cup, and it should be awesome. Um, both these players are really, really good. Bly is well known to an awful lot of people. Hyen is always doing incredibly well in these online tournaments. Like, um, I believe that in the Antec Attack Tournament I cast, he's one of the most times of anyone ever. Um, he nearly always reaches the final he's just absolutely great this is the Zotac Cup he does really really well in that as well so I'm really interested to see how it plays out he's also got an amazing ZVZ I mean absolutely crack on brilliant so um, this will be really interesting to see how it plays out now what are the options well so far um, it looks like Bly's going for a temple um, just by the fact he hasn't got the overlord he's got the 200 minerals there we go so he's gonna be putting on some early pressure now this could be effective against Hyun who tends to like going for the 15 hatch and then a pool afterwards so hatch then pool and basically with a temple that he's up against it could be very very effective there's no sign of a scouting drone or anything like that so really it's not going to be discovered until this overlord makes it over to the natural and doesn't see it down obviously no overlord started yet for Bly either which is quite interesting there we go just starting up now so basically doing the extract trick just to get up to the maximum number we do have Hyun going for that 15 no, which was a 14 pool actually. So, a bit more on the safe side. Um, clearly, slightly worried about what Bly could be doing. But basically, this is going to go one of two ways. And it all comes down to how much damage Bly is able to do. But he has gone out for that really, really early pool. But he's drone behind it, which is a bit peculiar. Um, so, it's not like he's trying to go for super early pressure or anything like that. Meanwhile, though, we do have the drone on drone action here. And that will deny Hyun from being able to get down his natural base as quickly as he may want to he's going to have to bring that second drone down just to help deal with it and of course once two drones are there then basically Bly is going to be forced to pull back but you can't de deny for an awfully long time and of course Bly has got his queen up behind this both players do now have their pool and for the moment it does look like it's going to be pretty even. I mean, obviously Bly will start his natural expansion any second, but he does have that queen out a lot quicker, which means four extra lava a lot quicker. I mean, he was only, what, probably about 20 seconds delayed in getting his natural down, but is over that in terms of how much sooner his queen was out, which, in the grand scheme of things, will make things really rather equal. I mean, if we look at the work count, yes, Han is ahead, but once that inject pops, it's kind of help him massively and I mean one would expect there almost to be a second um, well it's about three quarters of injector head so that will obviously help quite significantly if you look at the work account that's the important thing early on before we see any zergling production which there is no sign of at the moment just taking a look around I mean um, Everything's going pretty standard for both these players right now. So, while not much is happening, let me just say, if you like these videos, please give them a thumbs up. That would be super, super helpful. Also, subscribe. I get new top-level games up every single day of the week. Um, also, leave a cool comment. That would be sweet. Let me know what you think of the casting, of the games, of the players, anything like that. And, obviously, follow me on Twitter as well. would be awesome. So, then we can, like, discuss games and the scene and everything as well, which would be cool. Um... So, now I've got through all that, we've got both players have their naturals up and running, both players have... Well, actually no, Hun has got two queens, but Bly doesn't yet. The work account is still in Hyun's favour by four, so not a huge amount, but Bly is getting eight drones out now. That's compared to Hyun getting the baning nest, he has got his gas down, Bly only just taking his first gas now. So, I mean, that's going to put Bly ahead now in the work account, but obviously Hyun's going to level it up, it's, it's going to be a bit bumpy, but generally speaking, Bly is slightly ahead in terms of economy. Um, in my opinion, but only fractionally. The spine crawler coming down now just to be defensive. Hein is gonna go for Ling Bling, who is very confident with his Bayman control, so therefore it's probably gonna work out quite well for him. Obviously, Bly needs to work out how he's gonna deal with that. Currently, it's gonna be by building an awful lot of drones, apparently, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. He just needs to be ready for those banelings because obviously two banelings kill workers so if you get a lot of banelings in your mineral line you can have big big problems high end getting down that spine crawler as well if we look at the worker tap now Bly getting really quite significantly ahead speed is nearly done for high end though and only just started for Bly and of course with the mass flood of zerglings the fact that banelings are available we're gonna see some issues coming out for Bly now and he's gonna have to do an impressive defense to hold it really so we do have the well 
three gases out now for Hun against the one gas of Bly, who does have an awful lot of Zerglings there ready. He's getting up to that Bailing Nest himself, building a very effective wall off. And if that does get down in time, it'll be absolutely brilliant, but it looks like it's not going to be able to get down. Those Bailings are coming very, very close to being very, very threatening. And of course, if just one goes down on these clumped up Zerglings, it'll be absolutely huge. We are going to see some big Bailing hits go down, not as big as they could have been. And for the moment, Bly will be able to hold this, but... My god, that was close. Um, no workers killed is the important thing, so that does mean that... Well, actually, hang on, somehow Heinz got ahead in workers again. So, this is pretty funky. We now have a complete wall off formed by the double Evo chamber and the Queen. So, that means Bly is going to be a lot better defender going on later. But there is an awful lot of Banings morphing in, and there's an awful lot of Zerglings following this up. The Rochewan's also there. We do have the Baning Nest now done for Bly, so he's going to start morphing his own defensive Banings, remember. Two Banings kill Banings, one Baning kills Zerglings. That's the important thing you've got to always think about. Now, we do have the Queen there, and if those Banings do detonate, it'll cause problems, but for the moment, there's quite a few taken out pretty much for free there. That was very cost-effective for Bly, obviously. Killing stuff for nothing, always good. Um, we do have Bly getting up all four of his gas now, and that is compared to all four of the gas for Hyen as well. We do have an awful lot of Banings out, though, for both these players, and they're just going to mutually destroy each other which is always fun, but to be honest, this is getting pretty damn hectic. Hun has got the Roach Warren out, though, and he also, much more importantly, in my opinion, has a plus one missile attack started and the Roach speed. So because of that, he's very, very far ahead in terms of tech, and as long as he can defend against what Bly's going to throw at him in the near future, he's going to be in absolutely money because, I mean... Hein, if you've got the tech advantage, you're a bit more vulnerable now, but you're a lot stronger later. This third base, though, looking like it may get denied. Um, obviously, an awful lot of Zerglings there, and just a handful of Roaches. Obviously, Zerglings do incredible amounts of damage. If they do get a full surround, just as they are now, those Banings could go off at any second. It's good control. There's one big Baning hit, but for the moment, that was forced to cancel, and that is obviously very, very good because it means Bly is now ahead in getting his third base down, and Hun is trying to retake it right now. So... In terms of upgrades, the plus one missile attack only just starting now for Bly, but he is getting double upgrades, so that means he will eventually get ahead. The road speed nearly finished for Hyun right now as well, and basically this is all going really, really quite hectic. Hyun is ahead in terms of the supply count for the moment, and, well, this is looking like it could get cancelled at the third as well, which... Would be very, very good, but Hyun wisely pulling back when he sees those Banings coming in. There's also Zerglings around the back. This is all pretty hectic by Bly, who's going for a much more Zergling-heavy style, which is fine until the Roaches start building up a much bigger ball, at which point it becomes a big, big problem, because, obviously, Zerglings engage well against Roaches in small numbers, but once the Roach numbers get higher, they form that ball, which means the Zerglings can't get in to engage well. And we do have a big counter-push coming in here, by Hyun, who's committing an awful lot to this push. He's got a couple of Banelings around, but obviously there's a lot of Roaches, and this is exactly what I was saying. Once those Roaches start reaching the critical mass type numbers, it becomes a big problem. Hyun has got Banelings coming in as well now, and this could be game right here, and there it goes. Bly with the GG, and that was, of course, game one. So if you did enjoy, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, Twitter, and then switch over to my channel to find game two. See you there in a sec.